All right, so let's take a look at probably the most complicated problem that you'll be faced with in this uh, chapter, where you're asked to go between uh, molecules and uh, liters or milliliters uh, of volume. Um, it's important to note that you shouldn't be intimidated and you've done every uh, component of this problem before. Um, it just involves one additional step. Um, as always, uh, when we're mapping out our strategy, uh, in all of these problems, we're going to uh, try to get to moles. Um, so that's going to be a central uh, tenet. We know from there we can get to grams. Uh, the only addition here is now we're going to, ask to be asked to use the density uh, to go between grams and milliliters, and then finally liters. So uh, you should have seen every component of this problem before. The only thing that's new here is this sort of section of this uh, uh, flowchart. Um, here. So let's uh, actually set this up. Um, as always, uh, dimensional analysis is going to be our guide. Um, we're going to want to put molecules in the denominator in the first step. Uh, then we'll be in units of moles. Moles go in the denominator in the next step, uh, and so forth. That should be, uh, by this point, uh, rather straightforward. Um, Units cancel uh, appropriately, and we're left with liters. Um, again, we're going to think about our answer and what volume this should be. Um, it should not be an astronomically large number that would be bigger than the volume uh, of the Earth. Um, so we put Avogadro's number in the denominator. There um, are Avogadro's number of molecules for every one mole. The molar mass of uh, ethanol is 46 grams, again, slightly uh, rounded. Um, Fortunately, we're given uh, the density of ethanol. Remember that there's an implicit uh, one there. And then we use the definition of uh, milliliter for every uh, one liter, there are a thousand. Um, and we get our final answer as 10.9436 liters. Uh, we're gonna pay attention to significant figures. Uh, we see that our starting um, value has uh, three significant figures, so we wanna keep three. So our answer should be 10.9 liters. Again, this is on the right order of magnitude, so that makes me uh, happy. Now, if you can ma master this problem, um, you should be all set for the first test. Good luck.